Alive, Chief Innovation Officer, and I'm here with Jonathan G. Blanco. Hey, good to be here. Good to be here. Yeah. So what brings you here today? Yeah, so I'm the founder and CEO of Nifmint. Uh, we work with brands to help them uh, get into the Web3 space, and we do that by allowing them to tokenize their products and inventory. And so I'm here just meeting brands and meeting investors. This is actually my fifth time uh, speaking at uh, NFT NYC. Okay. So when you say uh, you're bringing physical into the digital world? Yeah, uh, you know, so there's two parts to it. Um, of course, the physical uh, aspect. So you know, I think any product that you purchase that you care to keep, your glasses, your blazer, a purse, a watch, et cetera, uh, we see a world in which all of these things have a digital version of them. Okay. Even if you don't even think about tokenization or crypto for a moment, uh, just the evolution of how we consume content, how we consume products. The fact of the matter is that tokenization actually becomes the best method to deliver that content medium because when you think about what a tokenized product is, it's essentially wrapping a layer of code around a content file. Mm -hmm. And so from a brand perspective, you can put a lot of really key important information in there. Everything okay. from authenticating the product to the warranty information, uh, service level information, loyalty mechanics, et cetera. And now from a, a, consumer, sorry, a, a brand and a customer perspective, you're able to in engage with the brand and with the customer at a token level. Okay, great. So how long have you been into, uh, doing this? I've been in the crypto space since 2016 personally, and then in 2017 I started a company uh, where we were do tokenizing loyalty actually for a brand. So imagine loyalty points as crypto. Mm -hmm. It was pretty early for that type of engagement and behavior back then. To be honest, I think it's still actually early for that now, but I do see that as one of the cardinal use cases that will take place uh, okay. overall. And then in 2020, actually before NFTs really took off, we were actually conceptualizing this concept. And that was frankly because we started talking to brands and noticing that they were getting interested in NFTs. Okay. Because there's one thing that brands do really well. They know how to promote products, sell products, um, and give away, right? right? So whether it's an attachment, this product itself, or it's a, a part of loyalty. So the way brands really started to understand this at first was like, hey, this is something I can just give away, I can attach to something. Um, for better or worse, when NFTs really took off, that really confused brands. You, right. We would have brands come up to us and say, we want to be the next Bored Apes. And we'd have to tell them like, hey, look, it's pretty unlikely that you're going to be the next Bored Apes. Right. And honestly, you probably don't want to because that doesn't necessarily work in your customer set. Right. What's better is if you think about this as like, how does this work long lasting with your product offering overall. Right. And so that's what we've always done. Uh, I remember in uh, November of 2021 when I came to this conference, I was talking a lot about that and it was pretty novel back then. Uh, now we're starting to see brands are actually really embracing it. Okay, great. And so what would you like to say to the, uh, the audience as we uh, wrap up here? Yeah, look, I'd like, just like to say is that when you think about how tokenization plays a factor into the, uh, the business world and the commerce world, think about all the technology that we use daily that started out in a probably less than desirable way. Everything from payments to even the web itself. Now it's a part of our everyday life and that's how I think about tokenization. You know, some people maybe don't like speculative aspects of crypto. I think that has a business and that has a place in it. But I do believe that everybody will interact with tokens every single day. You just won't even know it. It's just going to live in the background. And just like everything that you do on a technology, like I use my iPhone every day. I don't need to know how my iPhone works, right? Um, so I'm just really excited for the fact that this becomes the best way to deliver content and uh, you know, really seeing how brands start to explore this. So if you're a brand or you're someone who wants to figure out a simple way to get this involved into your business, we'd love to talk to you. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much yep. for having me. Thank you. There you have it.